All right, today we're watching Analog Horror. The perfect place to raise your family. Well, so come and visit your friends in Tangible Parish. You might even find you'll never want to leave. But if you do, we'll be happy to send a piece of our community home with you. There's like a line. And like it cut <clears throat> static or something. What was this made by? Doc yeah, Dr. Nowhere. Make sure you have the following vicinity earplugs, a pencil, a pen sheet of paper, standard Christian Bible. Open <laughs> to Psalms 9110. I have a Bible. I don't uh I don't know where that's at in there. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues tangible to the naked ear, then insert your earplug, then turn your pencil in. What? Should I pull up my Bible? Oh, I lost my Bible. That's not good. I don't know where it's at. I've never read it before, but I lost it, so... I can see this paper, I can see my hand, I can hear the screaming of thousands, I can hear the feast. I am moving, breathing, human being on planet Earth. No evil shall fall, shall befall you, and no plague shall come near your dwelling. After these words are written, recite Psalm 91, 10 aloud. Memories and imagery, something on holy... Persist in your mind, pray. It's all you can do. In the event you were required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered amnest amnestics. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. The boiled one phenomenon. August 13, 2003. Tree of Heaven. The late 1990s and now classified documentary based television program would debut a local <clears throat> from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was primarily directed towards children. The star of the show and narrator would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, and more importantly, how to protect yourself from it. Unfortunately, in 2001. Okay. I'm not reading all that shit. Something odd happened began to rerun seeming out of nowhere. The following audio recording depicts the beginning of the segments of the episode. Good morning, bushwhackers. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful Bro, I got, like, as it is deceptive. This is like actually Poison creepy. We all know about it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. And here on we aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer, no matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? Found primarily in deep North American woodlands, poison oak has many different names and places of origin, also referred to as the tree of heaven. Imagine that in China and Taiwan. One of these invasive species made its way to America in the 1700s and took its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. Red melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm yet deeply disconnecting voice. This face's properties will be hereby referred to as Fen something. Fen 228 spoke clips of the footage and even live camera feed. Multiple non-speaking understood every word. The, some people in English understood and people that didn't understand English understood. What, are we able to see this thing? Watch with blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. Yo, this is kind of scary. Please, 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 please
Goosebumps, fuck no. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera or not. I got goosebumps all over my fucking arms. My hairs are like all on end, bro. Fuck no. Fuck no. Face was living in his brain, feeding on his spine. Also, I had no idea what that thing was saying, but it was creepy as fuck. Beetle fanfare. Listen closely. Do you hear it? You will hear the laughter of thousands as the sky opens up. You will hear the trumpets play their happy sounds. Mm. The strong blood of life will pour down onto us all. Together, we will be still. Together. A feast for food together, welded by love and purest connection. Got a thing down and there. Still, <laughs> what does that look like? The twin towers, the boy in the bath. We're in no condition to sleep like this. That will make you better. But it wasn't my fault. Why? Hey, bud. Why do you leave me here? Why? Uh huh. I wish you never existed in my brain. What the fuck? I know you heard me. It was all your fault. Watching two more. Last two. 
Love Thumper. Hello? What do you want? What do you want? Please go away. Please go away. Go. So sad. Oh, it's hitting. The door opened. Oh, it's got this little butt or whatever the fuck that is. What is that? Hi. How are you? Yeah? Don't touch the door. Hi. You open the door. You just put it back on. Yeah? <laughs> The body appeared on Pudge. What? What? Last one. Has this ever happened to you? I don't know. It's getting dark outside. It's getting dark outside. You are getting ready for bed. Yeah. Grabbing a cold glass of water. Oh, and yeah. now you are turning off all the lights in the house. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Or maybe hear that? That sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the lights? Well, worry not. Worry not. We have a brilliant solution. What's this? There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. I don't know if I believe you. There is nothing that follows there you is nothing after that you turn off you. all the there lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. After you turn off all the lights in the house. Oh my. Well, I'll take your word for it.